So the role of chemotherapy or chemoimmunotherapy in CLL is, is going to be very interesting. Uh, a lot of patients really are not interested in that at all. And I think that will only accelerate because of the efficacy and tolerability of these novel agents. We're conducting trials right now, randomized trials in the frontline setting uh, compared to our standard therapies. And I think once those results uh, come out, uh, if they are positive with respect to the novel agents, that will only accelerate uh, the trend towards uh, no chemoimmunotherapy. And I think it would be a uh, remarkable accomplishment if you can have the average CLL patient who needs their initial therapy, who is in their mid-70s, that's the average patient, uh, start a therapy uh, that is oral, that's well tolerated, and even if it doesn't eliminate their disease, if it manages it for the rest of their natural life, I think that's a tremendous accomplishment.